business seems, uh, after all that you've been through, I mean, you came down through the Great Recession. This got to be the best it's ever been, correct? It's really remarkable. And we're very, very enthusiastic and bullish about the outlook. Now, also, if the Fed raises rates, I, something I might want to be in is a regional bank with good growth and not a lot of uh, loan losses. That, again, would be Huntington. That's right. That's right. Plus sticky deposits, core deposits that uh, for, for us are almost half of our in checking accounts. So this is a wonderful opportunity for regional banks, and we think for Huntington. And added to that is this economic development engine that's going on in the Midwest. Remember, when we first met, Jim, you made a, 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 an analogy about a rust belt that was turning. You were prescient. You predicted the Midwest would rebound. And we have. It's remarkable what's occurred. Well, thing, I mean, look, I always felt that it, a, a neglected area of the country that is fabulous, hardworking people. I had actually just been, I remember, because I, I had been to a, a wedding in, in an area of Ohio where there was just, it, it was where Youngstown had been, okay? It was the Youngstown plant. And right. I said, what are all right. these people doing? Well, they were looking for jobs. And, you know, right. now everybody's got a job. It's terrific. Now, to, speaking of that, it does seem to me that the regional bank that, like Huntington, has the deposits and has the structure and the management, like you, to start doing these deals that the federal government would never let, say, a J.P. Morgan do. I think TCF was one of the best banks in the country. And you got them at a very reasonable price. We did. And, uh, frankly, we got a tremendous group of new colleagues who joined us more than a million and a half customers, and an economic powerhouse in some business lines. Number two in inventory finance in the country, combined with our equipment finance, number seven. There's a lot for us to go for here as we bring these niche businesses to bear. And in the fourth quarter, this was a, a really quick acquisition, the approved by the regulators, and a very quick conversion. And now for the first time, as we come into 22, everybody's on the same systems. We can look out for our customers better. We, we, there are a series of benefits that we are positioned to take advantage of. We had a, a, a lot of conversion activity in the fourth quarter, and much of that loan closing activity went late in the quarter. Some of it spilled into the, to the new year. So as we come into the new year, it's with great loan growth, particularly commercial loan growth, right. at the end of uh, the, uh, the quarter, and a lot of backlog and momentum in the business lines. Uh, We're very question. bullish. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.